Now, who would have thought of smoking a Black Friday on Black Friday? Beats me. But we're going to do it today. Y'all hang on. What's going down, Cigarhead crew? Happy Black Friday to y'all. Um, I'm sure most of y'all are already out doing your Black Friday cigar shopping. Or if you're not out, then you're doing it online, which mm -hmm. I've seen some of those deals that they have online at some of these uh, cigar, uh, online cigar shops. I am impressed. You can easily go broke. All right, Cigar Head Crew, so today, the cigar that we'll be smoking is none other than the HVC Black Friday. Y'all, this is my last one, because I've been smoking this cigar so much. I had like 10 of them come in. I bought like, no, I bought like eight of them. Cigar Head Crew, now, I'm gonna look at my handy dandy notebook and tell you the notes that I jotted down about this cigar, which is very interesting to know about this cigar. Now, need I remind you, HVC comes out with this cigar every year. As a matter of fact, this is the sixth year that they came out with this post-Thanksgiving cigar. It's very, very limited. They come in, they came in 500 boxes of 50 at a piece for the cigars a piece. They're about $7.50. So I love how HVC is so price conscious when it comes to their cigars. They're, they're not known for having very expensive cigars. They're not they're not a company that, that's looking to just reach down deep in your pockets and take all the money that you have. They're very, very price conscious on the cigars that they make. Now for this year, they did something different this year. They came out with another size in this HVC Black Friday 2020. They, all, they came out with the Firecracker, which the Firecracker is a three and a half by 50 ring gauge cigar, which if I'm not, I, I tried to find that cigar, I tried to get some, but they are sold out. Now, I mean, hey, if you guys want to send your boy a couple of firecrackers, you know, I ain't going to stop you. <laughs> now, this size that I'm smoking today, now this is the Corona Gordon. Now, this is a 5 and 5 a 5 and 5 eighths. <laughs> now, this is a 5 and 5 eighths by 46 ring gauge cigar. Now, the wrapper on this cigar is it's wrapped in Habano Cafe. It has two binders. It has a, a Criollo 98 and a Corojo 99 binder. And the Lajero in this cigar is from Agonorsa Leaf. And y'all know how I feel about Agonorsa. Y'all know I love me some Agonorsa. Now smelling the body of the cigar, I smell uh, natural sweet tobacco. And the other smell, I do not know. I, I don't know, I couldn't, I can't tell you. Cause I, I I don't know I can't I can't make that make out the smell. Now on the foot, you can smell the lajero, raisins and sweet tobacco, and you can smell that lajero in here. You can smell like a little spice on there. All right, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Shout out to you, brother Brew Geek. Fairly decent draw on this cigar. It's kind of, the cigar is pretty firm, but the draw is pretty decent. Cold draw, you can taste that Lajero. You get, I get like a little spicy tingle in the back of the throat. I taste the same thing as, as I got off the smell. I taste um, sweet raisin, like sweet raisin and natural tobacco sweetness. Get a little tingle on the lips too. All right, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on.
Now, immediately from light up, get a blast of that, um, it's like a, a peppery mesquite taste that I'm getting. Get a little bit of that of the, the natural sweetness of the tobacco. The retro hell is spicy. Get a little bit of woodiness in there as well. Let's see, the retro hell is about at a it's at about a um Floyd Mayweather. I say about a Floyd Mayweather, strong Floyd Mayweather jab to the nose, man. Not a jab and move. But a jab is like a like a a jab jab. All right, I'm digging it so far. So I'm gonna let this bad boy heat on up and get into the first third. And if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, so go ahead, crew. We are back with the HVC Black Friday 2020. This is the part right here of this cigar where it really starts to shine. It's a good cigar all the way throughout, don't get me wrong. But this part right here, when it reaches this part right here, this is where the cigar really shines, man. I'm gonna tell you exactly what this reminds me of. When, it get, when I get to this part, that mesquite taste, really, really, that spice, it's a spicy mesquite taste that you get. The woodiness that you get also, it's like, it reminds you of, think of it, think of it this way. It's like, um, like you smoking, like you smoking, some like you spoke in a steak right that must that spicy you get a spicy like the uh, cayenne pepper type of mesquite taste and it and, and also you get like a little cedar spice in there as well this thing if you were, like smoking some steak man this is good this is good man that retro hell is it has picked up a bit it's about a mike tyson jab to the nose Really, really enjoying this cigar, man. So I'll be back in the final third. If I have anything else, I'll be back before then. Y'all hang on. <coughs> Woo. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, we are back with the HVC Black Friday. Only thing I really didn't like about the cigar is the burn on it. It was pretty much wonky all throughout, throughout the cigar, but I didn't touch it up. But that's okay, because it still didn't take away from the flavor notes that I got in this cigar. Flavor notes pretty much has still been the same. Except for now in the final third, it started to get like a little bit of earthiness, but it's not too, it's not too, too earthy. Where you have to put the cigar down. I have really enjoyed this cigar. And I have to say that this cigar is not for practicing retro hailing with. Not a cigar you want to practice retro hailing. If you don't know how to retro hail, this is not a cigar you want to try try it with. Very good cigar, man. Very, very, very good cigar. Now, um, <clears throat> flavor notes have pretty much still been the same here in the final third. Not uh, not not any transitions to any, anything different except for that little earthiness that you get. But overall, this is this is a fantastic cigar. I love this cigar. I hate this my I hate this my last one, but it's okay. But if you guys like the flavor notes that I've described in this cigar, give it a shot, man. Give it a shot. And for, for this cigar to be $7.50, you can't beat that. That's an awesome price on this cigar. So y'all do me a favor. Give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops. And I'll see y'all in the next review. All right, y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.